Um, in case you don't know, this is Spencer. He's my eldest son. Um, he is uh, a computer programmer slash IT slash... I know stuff about computers. Yeah, he's, Stop asking me questions. He's really smart. And I'm what's your, smart. your favorite answer? Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, no, it's have you yet. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Linda Arnold. I am a mostly self-taught potter who was on a quest to either find or make the perfect teapot, of which this is not it, um, and then put the best tea into it that we can find. And that's what this whole journey has been, is to clean out the tea cabinet in the house uh, and find the best teas that, that we can get our hands on. So, Mom. Do you know what we're reviewing today? Because I have no idea what we're doing. Well, you know, Spence, we um, we went online because many people had told us that we needed to try some of the David's teas. Oh, yeah. So we got one of his packs of the 12 most popular teas. Ooh. And so today we're actually going to try uh, the tea called Organic Cold 911. As we know with these little, these are two of the perfect spoon, which makes 16 ounces. So we'll move this over here and we're just gonna dump all of this in our teapot. This is a really compact teapot, like tea holder. That smells really nice. It smells it's, like hair gel. It's spearminty and eucalyptus -y and I don't know what the, there's some sort of berries in it. And I, these look like pieces of crusty bread, but as we've learned before, they're not, they're probably apple. And hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Hey Siri, stop timer. So our five minute timer with Siri's done and our five minutes here is just about done. So we're gonna give this a stir. This tea is very, it's honey colored. It's very spearminty. Um, it smells amazing. I mean, if you're sick with a stuffed up head, this would be awesome uh, if it could break through all that congestion and whatnot. Um, Okay. Oh, it's really hot. I, I, can't, I can't get past the heat right now. Give me, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so growing up, um, growing up, if we were sick, um, we would have, they would fix us a hot toddy. It's peppermint apples. That's what it is. Yeah. It's peppermint apples, and that's a weird combination of flavors to have together. Yeah, yeah, it's peppermint apple, and peppermint's a very strong flavor itself, and apple's a kind of a weak flavor. So the peppermint just overpowers it, but it's like a, it's a subtle apple, so it's just kind of like, not good. So, I can taste the peppermint, but more of what I'm getting with it, I don't really taste the apple much. Um, and it appears that these are juniper berries. Um, there's a whole nother story about that. But anyway, I'm getting more of the eucalyptus than I'm getting the spearmint. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of... Actually, let me smell it. That actually smell. Ooh. <laughs> it's not so bad. First time I've smelled it, so... <laughs> Enjoy the sound of me messing All right. around. We're going to add a perfect spoon to it. So this, would you consider this a organic hot 911 now? <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay, there's a little bit of this smell there. 
Oh, that's delightful. It needs Ooh. it needs just a touch of honey. That is, that is good. It needs just a touch of honey. That is good. Yeah, it's just a little splash. The little splash of extra flavor there. Yeah, it's it's not. What'd you call this? A uh, hot toddy. A hot toddy. I can say your par your parents probably had a good idea. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> it's a lot of different things. Did you want honey? No. Well, I mean, I'll try some of yours. But... Okay. Mm. That's that's perfect because it's minty and eucalyptusy. Yeah. And it's got just a little bit of the the bourbon flavor to it it's a little sweet um that's not like the apple sweet or anything i mean this and you can feel it you can feel it kind of in your yeah, chest okay so the alcohol mellows everything out and the honey does it does it one step better so instead of it being a a peppermint apple fight it turns into a nice mellowing of all the flavors yeah it's it's so the issue then becomes would you recommend this tea by itself? Well, in certain circumstances, absolutely. Like what? Um, well, if, if you don't if if you don't drink alcohol, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, and just because, and it's not like we had hot it, hot toddies all the time. It was only every now and a blue moon. Um, pardon me, and it's only when you got that really nasty, oh, yeah, yeah. chesty product or needs to be productive cough. Um, if you are congested, I would think this would be amazing. If you have a, a, a cough, a semi-productive cough, I would think this would be good. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you need to make it a productive cough, I would add a little bit of honey and some whiskey. Um, and it might work for you, it don't might not. Don't either. No, uh, I think it's good, but I couldn't drink it alone. I would have to add the stuff to it to make it good. I just I like I like smooth drinks. I'm just I'm Well, do I like smooth drinks? Now that I've I mean I I was enjoying it before, but now I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. So I would give this uh straight a thumbs up, but modified an even bigger thumbs up. Um a cup. Uh yeah, if, like mom said, if you're feeling under the weather a little bit, yeah. But just normally sideways sideways recommendation okay I'm gonna give it a thumbs up um, I think by itself it was pretty good it was pretty pretty good um, you know if you're sick I think this would work well for that um, modified with a little bit of whiskey and some honey um, I think it's great um, I would not recommend doing that all the time uh, or even some of the time uh, only every now in the blue moon um, but you really, you really don't even need to. That's just a kickback to my childhood, um, you know. And honestly, that was probably twice as much whiskey as my mom would ever put in it. Um, so. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for coming by and having a couple with us. We hope your cup of tea is much nicer than this day that we're having. Um, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. there do you enjoy our content we certainly hope so if you did give us a big old thumbs up because it really helps us out and while you're at the thumb area why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button too and you know you might as well um, if you didn't like what we're doing you know you are welcome absolutely welcome to hit the thumbs down button but you have to do it twice um, if there's any teas that you would like for us to try feel free to leave it in the comments below and we will do our best to get our hands on it and give it a whirl Thanks so much. We'll see you later.
Such a good time, a really good time. Boom, boom. Ah, chick. Chicka chicka. Yum, yum.